Hi again, guys. Now it's time for the fourth and final of these Filipino snacks that my sister got me. Recap, I tried the pastillas. I didn't like them, but I did not hate them. They were just very milky, and the milky taste just didn't settle, did not settle with my taste much. Plus with the sugar, it was like grinding your teeth. Then I tried the chocolate ube roll, which I liked. So I have three more in the fridge and I could eat those if I want. I'll just eat one at a time. And then I tried one which I absolutely did not like. Gave it a negative 10 out of 10, which was the sap and sap. I just couldn't handle the funny taste, which, which it had it looked like it tasted like rice, but it was. There were ingredients that did not compare well. And I know many people are okay with it, but I wasn't okay with it. So Sappin' Sappin' is the only one that I will not eat again. I already threw away the container. I'm not eating it again. So I just wasted something that my sister lost on that. And now I'm going to try my fourth snack type. And I have it here. Puto Bon Bon. It's kind of interesting. It looks like a cookie of sorts that's almost like powdered, but it's not powdered. Ingredients includes rice flour, coconut milk, Sugar, granulated yam, coconut, the shaving, and margarine. Now, I'm not a yam guy, so I don't know why. But it also has other stuff, so I don't know if, if this was an add-on by my sister or not. I don't know. But let's take a look. Piece of butter stick. And I'm guessing this is like the... It's like granny sugar, but it could be that granulated yam. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to try it separately. The snack first, and then I'll probably try it with this. And I don't know if the butter had anything to do with it. So, I'm going to leave it out. So. Okay. Let's see. This is what we got. Completely sh coated in coconut. And judging by, if you look at it really carefully, you can see purple. Yeah, this has purple in it. So the Set that aside. Well, let's tr give it a try. It's not as bad as the Sappin Sappin. I'm not against coconut. I don't eat a lot of coconut. But when I make the cook but when my mom and I make the coconut creme brulee, I like it because it's we're using extract. So I don't really mind the coconut much. I just don't eat it all the time. But but this part here, the purple, I don't know. It's just it's kind of funny. Hmm. Let's see what it does with this.
It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know. It's... I don't know. This helped a little bit. It kind of helped a little. I'm not going to lie. But... It's weird. It's not bad, but it's not 100% good either. So it's like... I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle on this one. I'm kind of in the middle. So... Will I eat this often? Probably not, but I'm not going to say I'm not going to deny people from trying it. It's not going to stop me. It's just weird. So I'm like in the middle, so I'm going to put it as 5 out of 5. A 5 out of 10. That's all I can say. It's just weird. I'll probably finish this piece and then be done with it. It's just too weird for me. So, at least this kind of helps a little bit. It's just a weird snack, not gonna lie. So, I'm gonna say that five out of 10 is the best I can give it. It's just too weird. It's not bad, but it's not good either. So it's like, I just don't know what to decide. Oh well. The next videos I might do, I have two ramen bowls that are spicy one of which i've tried before as a in a cup which is the two times spicy ramen bowl ramen so i'm going to eat one in a bowl and then there's another one in which i tried a level one of three levels flavor of the spice level so this one's a level three so i'm definitely going to have my workout out because it's going to be probably spicy. So, we'll wait and see. Take care, guys.